In the last seven to eight years, I began to develop a different comic voice and a, and a different perspective. Um, you know, comedy, stand-up comedy is a low art. It's, it's a vulgar art. It's an art of the people. It's not but it's fine. an art. But it is an art. It's, it, it has to do with interpreting the world as you see it and then writing something and then delivering it verbally. Uh, and I found a very liberating position for myself as an artist. And that was I sort of gave up on the human race and gave up on the American dream and culture and nation yeah. and decided that I didn't care about the outcome. And that gave me a lot of freedom from a kind of distant platform to be sort of uh, amused, uh, a, a kind of, uh, to watch the whole thing with a combination of wonder and pity right. and but, try to put that into yeah. words. Not caring about the outcome, what right. do you mean by that? Not having an emotional stake in whether this experiment with human beings works. I really don't care. Uh, I love people as I meet them one by one. People are, the, are just wonderful as individuals. You see the whole universe in their eyes if you look carefully. But as soon as they begin to group, as soon as they begin to clot, when there are five of them or ten, or even groups as small as two, they begin to change. They sacrifice the beauty of the individual mm -hmm. for the sake of the group. I decided it was all under the control of groups now, whether it's business, religion, political people or what, and I would distance myself from wishing for a good outcome. Let it do what it's going to do, yeah. and I'll enjoy it as an entertainment. And I'll reflect on what it is on its own. And I'll enjoy it for the entertainment. There's a little bit of a sick part in this, too. Yeah. I root for the big comet. I root for the big asteroid to come and make things right. That's yeah, the way right. I put it. Stir but, things up. Yes, to get us back where we were before the yeah. first one came and knocked out these dinosaurs and yeah. let the ferrets we're grow We're talking up. about comets on this show tonight. I know. Uh, and I'm, I'm rooting for that big one to come right through that hole in the ozone layer because I want to see it on CNN. See, I'm here for the entertainment, Charlie. I am. <laughs> People, these philosophers say, why are we here? I know I am here. For the entertainment. The show. Bring it on. I want to see the circus. Yeah. But so, how does this affect your performance and what you bring to stand-up? Well, well, I've seen a lot of Comedian, we've all seen a lot of comedians who seem to have a political bent in their work. And always implicit in the work is, is some positive outcome, that this is all going to work. If only we do this, if only we pass that yeah. bill, if only we elect him, if only we do that. It's not true. It's, it's circling the drain time for, the, for humans. I believe this. I honestly believe this. Not just as a comedian, he thinks that. He likes yeah, to say right, that. Yeah. I believe it. And when you say to yourself, I don't care what happens. It just gives you a broader perspective for the art, for the words to, to emerge, to not care. That's what happened in that 92 show. That's why I could say the planet is fine, the people are... Because yeah. the planet will outlast us. It will be here and it will be fine. Has the subject matter changed? Well, I, I, you know, you're still stuck with what's going on. Yeah. But I, I don't like topical. I don't like political humor. I, I don't mention politicians. In fact, I defend them in this particular show. Uh, everyone is on their ca Everyone is always making things. I, bad I defend dirty. them and blame it on the people. This is where it belongs. Yes. You and get fact, what I, you deserve. Yes, you get what you do, I and mean, you deserve what you get. <laughs> and I have a slogan, the public sucks. And yeah. it works nicely, and people accept it. Not, not, not very enthusiastically, yeah. but they understand that it says we the people in that preamble. Yeah. It doesn't say them the this is and those the that's us. It says, hey. We got on this boat. And people who hate government are involved in a, in a form of suicide because government is self-government. And if you hate the government, you, you hate, hate yourself. yourself. Yeah. It's the same with the war against nature that, that mankind goes through. So I just said to myself, it's not going to get better, not in my lifetime. Let me enjoy this and get a little perverse about my, my commentary on it. I, I, I open yeah, what does perverse mean, though? Well, to, to look for where the people think the line is. The people have values, that these, things, these, these amorphous things they call values yeah. that they bring to, to, the, to the seat in the theater when they sit down. Yeah. And I like to find out where their line may be and deliberately cross it, disturb <laughs> them a little, make them uncomfortable, yeah. and, then make them, and then bring them with me across the line and make yeah. them glad they came. That's what I do. I'm an entertainer. I'm not a doomsayer. I'm not here to preach. I don't do political tracts, but I do entertain. I do a lot of jokes, but I want you to feel a little in danger along the way.